This is take number two. Guys, welcome to podcast number six. Welcome podcast to podcast six. number six, Sunday, May 24th. I be family, truly flow, flow, ready, set, go, wavy like show, drop a new bit to collect in a dough, keep it a hundred, you already know, we never frontin' but stuntin' for show from JD to PJ, we keepin' y'all hook like replay, let's see Ray, deliver the goods, no delay, y'all too busy cuffin', we don't... Yep, I would give you guys high fives, you know how we started off, but I can't, because... This took about 30 minutes to set up, just the wire alone, because this thing does not work properly. Yeah. We have new equipment. Yes. How do you guys feel about it? I'm excited. I feel like a lot more professional. I love hearing the voices. Yeah. I hear I, BJ whispering the mic right now. Hey, how's it going? Oh, see, I hear that <laughs> perfectly. One thing I will say is we need more wires. We don't have enough yeah, set up. Yeah. Not, not yet. Um, if you guys know any good wires that we can have, we need more. Because we don't have enough, clearly. Yeah, this looks like a rat's nest. Yeah, I don't give a rat's. But um, today's uh, Sunday, 24th, a day before a great vacation. A great vacation, but I'm excited. don't spoil it yet. Yeah, yeah. So well, I mean, we, we, we could. Yeah, we could. We are, we are taking a vacation to Temecula. Yeah. We're okay. leaving tomorrow. We got a big house. Um, mansion. Mansion. I mean, five bedrooms, pool. And I'm using two of those. Yeah. <laughs> pool, pool table, ping pong table, jacuzzi, fire pit, and hey, you never know, we might catch some ghosts out there. We're yeah, we're, we're do- filming everything. Yeah, we're doing everything. We're vlogging. Uh, we're doing a podcast out there. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have that. Um, I think we should do MTV Cribs. We have yeah, to. Yeah, I say like you That's know like Faze does like the house tour or something like that. Yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> no. This happened in the first take. Okay. I'm, I'm, t- I'm gonna let you guys know why it's happening. Uh, yesterday we were. That's exactly why. Yesterday we were making a song. And this song took a lot of yelling. Like, it's going to come out soon. It's a really good song. Um, it's just, like, vibing, going crazy. Uh-huh. But we were screaming, and <laughs> Colt was the first one to lose his voice. I was losing my voice. Like, everybody was going crazy. So it was, it was fun, the but that's is, why. You know me. I have a very loud voice, and I don't even try to. If my voice, if I lose my voice, that means I'm yelling. I don't lose my voice very often because I'm always yelling. You have a loud voice. I Yeah. You do. So it's like when I, with my kids at work, they, they hate it. They, they, they know who's talking from like a mile away because I'm so loud. Yeah. What do you think of the song, JD? It's going to be a banger. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's different than our, our usual jams. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, and we said we always wanted to make this kind of song. We're going to the studio to do it too, so. Yeah, we're going to uh, do it. Because we normally don't do studio, we do it like at our house. I'm going to try not to talk as much because my voice is cracking. <laughs> no, you can <laughs> let it like filter it out. Uh, you know what? I. I want to talk about this, uh, my dad, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't shouted him out yet as much as we should. My dad, I love you, dad. I love my mom, too. Obviously, yeah. I love them both, but my dad has been our number one supporter. Yeah. He got us these mics. Um, he got us the cameras we use. He got us the intro, outro, animations for our channel, our logo. We're doing the podcast because of him. Like, yeah. That's a big, that's a big uh, So, part, thank right? you so much uh, to my dad. I love you very much. I know I don't show it enough, but... Shout you out to are, Nicole uh, and Carrie. I mean, Larry. <laughs> Nicole you? and Carrie. <laughs> Nicole and Larry. All right, Nicole and Carrie. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, we all love you. Yeah. And my mom, we all love you too. So Appreciate you guys. Um, Another big thing. JD, I want you to put words up on, on, the, on the screen. I don't care. We are starting a Blitzball League. Yes. We need to hype that up, dude. We're, we are going balls to the wall. <laughs> if you haven't seen our last Blitzball video, go check it out. Um, we, we we watch a lot of Blitzball people on YouTube. Shout out Como. Como Blitzball was our biggest inspiration. You guys are killing it. I love it. Yeah. Um, but you know us. We make skits. And I think, like, this is our first time we've done, like, a video where it's, like, half skit, half real. The game is real. Everything else, like the interviews, uh, the intro with Frank and Thomas, that's fake. But the game is real. Entertainment. Um, but, yeah, we're looking for teams of two or four to come in. And or three. Or three. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Two, three, or four. Does Not one, though. One's does, too hard. Okay, so does East watch the podcast? Uh, I hope East watches the podcast. East, if you're watching, what's up, my guy? Up, Welcome East? to what's the up, Lumberjacks. Uh, yeah, we have a new teammate on the Lumberjacks. Uh, yeah. Another lifelong friend of mine. He's got a big bat. He's, he's got a he, dude. He's our brother. Don't, yeah, he's not like he's a he's not a friend. He's a brother. He's a day one. I haven't met him yet, but I'm excited too. You haven't met East yet? I mean, like not properly. Okay, yeah. but like through the batting cage, just kind of. Because we all, we, I mean, we all went to the same high school, so yeah. 
Yeah. But um, <coughs> you excited like, for do people to join me. Cards? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do something different. We're at my dad's office, and we found these in the closet. They are conversation cards. Who wants to go? Who wants to pick one first? Um, okay. Do I have to say? Don't it? hit the cord. Don't hit my cord. Yeah, you're gonna say one. So read it. Huh. Oh man. Take a few here. You want to take a pile? Yeah. Conversation cards. You want me to read one? So, yeah, read it out loud right now. Now, by the way, these are made. Yeah, these are like. Oh, old 2014. School. Six years ago. I they, wasn't even born yet. They don't look like they're six years old. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. This is such a heartwarming topic. What present do you want to give your best friend on his or her birthday? Well, I'm going to give it away. Well, just what kind of things? Um, I've, uh, I've really been wanting, I've been looking at, uh, a uh, plunger, like, <laughs> never, <laughs> never um, dude, I feel like as of right now, the perfect gift that I would give you is, uh, a Walker Bueller, like, oh, <laughs> like a Nike dude. home jersey. Butane. I would not take that off. I wouldn't wash it. Butane. That'd be money jersey. Yeah. BG already knows the gift I got him. Yeah, that's the like. One I of got the him a scuff controller. controller. If you guys know what that is, it's a PS4 controller on steroids. Crazy. And it is a customized Doctor Disrespect controller. Shout out Doctor. Streamer. If you're watching, if you're watching Doc, <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks, uh, BG, what would you give JD? Um, JD. Okay, so like. I'm the type of person if I'm gonna give somebody a gift, it's gonna be like his own apartment. <laughs> no, no. Yes, dude. We'll talk about that, but like, um, what I would give JD. Man, this is. I would give. JD is different. He's not. He's gonna go the other way. If you're gonna go one way, he's gonna go the other way. It's never. You can't like, make me go away. Yeah. Um. So, if I was rich, if I am, don't. yeah. Um, if I was rich, I would probably give you like a lifetime supply of monsters. I was gonna say lifetime supply of like hot pockets or something. <laughs> yeah, like no inside food, right? Yeah, like, hot pockets. Know. If you're watching, I would love a lifetime yeah, supply. This guy lives on hot pockets, man. Let me tell you, like <laughs> that's crazy. Tell me what's wrong about hot pockets. I want everyone to comment. It's just, it's not, it's not that it's bad. It's like it's crazy that you would rather eat something inside than like yeah. go get something to eat. He loves well, cheeseburger. Listen, maybe like, I'm, this is gonna be about Jay right now. He loves cheeseburgers. He hates steak though. You don't like steak. He hates steak. He said, I, I'll only eat steak with cheese on it. What? Yeah. Ah, that just does it. You like cheeseburgers, but not yeah. steak. No, that's not. Because steaks good. aren't served what between about, two buns with a slap of cheddar and some lettuce. What about steak and fries? You would. There's no way you Like wouldn't. a steak with fries on the side? Yeah. I would go t- to town on the fries. But not the steak? Nah. Dude. But then you got a side of fries from... Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, but but what's on that? It's not steak. Oh, I know. But still, I mean, you don't like steak, but you like cheeseburger. That's just yes. weird. Um, I'm a man of culture. Real quick, before we move on to the next um, uh, subject about the apartment, we're trying to get one. Yeah. We're trying to just like be more independent, dude. Like things are gonna start rolling, so I'm excited for that, dude. Like yeah, being yeah. able to live together, that's crazy, dude. If we <clears throat> once we get an apartment together, the videos are gonna be crazy. Yeah, a lot pumping out. Stuff. Well, yeah, we're getting like it takes time, obviously, but we're trying to get better equipment just so we can get better quality videos. Because mm-hmm. I feel like le- our last couple of videos have been money. Yeah, I think we, I think um, we're, we're a lot of people are doing it. Yeah. 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 All right, you want to read it? I'll read do it. Yeah. Yes, sir. That next one's pretty good. I like it. Okay. Wait, so JD, you went first, right? Yeah, I already went. All right. <laughs> yeah, no cutting. I don't know if I want to ask that. Ask it, <laughs> ask it dude. I mean, like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Just do it. Does your mother work? What does she work? <laughs> My mom is a counselor. Yeah. In school? She is oh, at Burt. That's bad. Burt <laughs> Lynn Middle School. Burt Lynn, okay. Burt Lynn. She should work at more than one, but it's Burt Lynn. She's a counselor. Shout out to all the Burt Lynn. Middle school, that? Yeah, middle, middle school. school. Yeah. Dude. That's respectful. Imagine, like, a kid from Brooklyn. Like, I go to Burt Lynn. Burt Lynn. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shout out to that kid in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Right. Um, Cole, you want to go? You want to read another one? Or we, we... I mean, do you want me to? I'll just... Okay, here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, this is good. What job do you want in the future and why? It's um, a good one. Go ahead, JD. You got to... You gotta answer this one. Um, don't say stripper. There's a lot. Stripping is not on the list. Chunky J. Um, I mean, if we're going like, <laughs> I think when I was like in third grade, I wanted to be a cop, but like every kid wanted to be a cop or fireman or something. Then you had to run for the training. Yeah, then I then I learned what it took to be a cop, and I just don't have it. Dude, they ask really personal questions they put you through a lie detector test yeah you can only have uh 20 percent of body fat on you there you go yes that that's a wow. fail right there you have to do a whole like um your lungs have to be good yeah uh, they're gonna they talk to a significant other um your family significant other yeah wow or like your past they talk to a significant other your family your neighbors so they get your address, they go to your neighbor's house, and they talk to your neighbors. And, like, um, just, like, a bunch of other things that you have to pass. Um, That's smart, though, man. I mean, <clears throat> to be a cop, like, yeah, you have to yeah. make sure your background is good. Like, but, dude, that's insane. That is a lot. They really go deep. Dude, that just shows, like, you better treat people with respect. Yeah. Because that can, if you're trying to be a cop, that can bite you on the butt, dude. And, like, being a cop, dude, like, I'm talking about $80,000 a year like that's to start somewhere around there Dude, and it's like especially today's era it's tough to be a cop yeah it is you know because like there's always that bad bad vibe with it like oh they're racist or they don't treat mm -hmm. people right so if you're, if you're trying, trying to be a cop i respect you man because that's that's tough out there so that wasn't like the official answer that was when i was like 10 mm. right now i would just say something with editing yeah yeah dude Edit. you're the king right now of editing we just this, this wouldn't work without you man mm -hmm. just put like just editing, man. Just lock me in a dark room and let me edit. And we can pump out so much more stuff if you had the laptop's very slow. Yeah. The laptop is slow. So so I, I think our big next big purchase is a laptop. Yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. Um my, my uh my job that I would wanna do, I think is I really would love to be a streamer. Really? Like, I would love to do it because, dude, I'm talking about Postmates whenever you want. Like, you just walk out the door. You're in your house. You don't, like, have to really do much. Like, meet other people. Keep trying to grow. Like, if you're a streamer, um, you're just able to, like, be yourself, I uh -huh. guess. You don't have to make this act where in other jobs you have to act like a certain person. Yeah. When, out, when you're on the outside, like, change your personality, you know? Like, I feel like a streamer. That'd be sick. That'd be cool. What about you? Dude, something like an entertainer, bro. Like, comedian, actor, <laughs> like, doesn't matter. Singer, dude. Like, that'd be so sick. I was dreaming about having, like, a show with you guys. Like, an improv show or something like that. Or, like, mm -hmm. it would be, like, just stand-up comedy. Or, like, and then we would, like, rap or sing. And, like, dude, just be entertaining, dude. And that Keem video Keem. was, like, kind of Keen Peel mm -hmm. mixed with Bo Burnham. Like, whose line is it anywhere where the points do matter? Yeah, dude. Like, oh, shout-out to whose line is it anyway, bro. Like, have you ever seen that show, BJ? I've never. Dude, it's like these four guys that do improv, mm -hmm. and like one, one like the host just tells them like what to do and like act out stuff, and they're they're so talented, man. It's so crazy. Oh, I think I've seen them at. Don't laugh at me if I'm wrong, but and not, they do the puppets. Didn't they do something like that? Oh, like that's that's another improv. That was cool too. That was cool. Yeah. I thought about that, that the other day. Improv. Yeah. Yeah, that puppets. was. Um, okay. Yeah, Who's... An entertainer would be sick. Here Who's... is something. What are two to four things you like about this country? <laughs> That's what it says. Two to four things? I mean, we're kind of going to have the same... I know. Energy. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll give one. Oh, man, this is going to be rough. <laughs> I want you to get Be deep. careful. I want you to careful get what deep. you say, dude. That right there is a problem with our country. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Number one... Um, this yeah, is going to be generic. Things we love and things we hate. Sure. About that? Let's, let's, let's get it going. All right. Let's go. We're, we're getting edgy this one. Number one, I love about this country. It's going to be generic. Go ahead. Scoff at me already. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. I look at, I watch an unhealthy amount of YouTube videos, and I see other countries and how they live. Man, we have it so good here. And I know, I, I'm just going to leave all the BS aside. This country is the most free country that ever will be, the most free country that ever was. I, do you want, you guys go. Oh, 
I love this country. I just love the the red, white, and green about it. Um, Best color. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, what do uh, What do I like? I like that I'm able to um. Just like I feel like America <laughs> is very reliable on the food. Like they are clean. They make sure that nothing gets over here. <laughs> Like that, um, I'm not gonna go generic like answering, but that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely not a starving country. Yeah, that's for sure. What's what's one thing you hate? <sighs> and I want you to, like 100 percent from the heart honesty. Yeah. Well, I know JD's got something. Mm-hmm. You got go to because I'm, I'm gonna think I'm gonna think about it. Um. We are a privileged country in the... Let me put it this way. When things are going bad, people don't usually complain. Because when they get things or what they have, they... um, What's that word? Shoot. They appreciate what they already have. Now, when things are going good, that's when people start complaining. Because, you know, they got things going good, but something's going bad. Oh, we got to complain about it. I look at a complaining country, like people who complain a lot, that's a good sign. People complain a lot here, which is good. Mm. I think we should be able to voice our opinions and complain about whatever we want. But at the same time, we also have it really good. Cool. Do you hate anything? Like and hate. Did you already say you like? I, I mean, like is basically what you guys are saying, so I'll just go to hate. Um, it's like, there's a lot of white people out there. Or not any race, but, like, white is, like, getting... Like, every time I see, like, go on social media, the white people are getting eat. And, like, I don't I don't blame them. Because, like, there's a lot of, like, you know, the Karens of the world. Yeah. Or, like... Especially they, right like now. This, yeah, this whole virus thing is, like, driving people crazy. But, like, it's, like, people arguing about the stupidest things. Like, we don't focus on what really matters. And it's, like... They bring race into everything. That's what I hate. You know what I'm saying? And... Yeah. I get that. Like, you know what? White people are probably more privileged. I get that. Um, I've never had an experience. I don't know if you have. Of where it helped me out. But I'm not saying I don't have white privilege. And that does suck. Um, you know, and I don't follow politics. I don't, I'm not. Don't ever ask me questions about pol- like, like political questions. Because I don't, I don't follow that stuff. Because I try not to stay out of it. I, I try to stay out of it. Um, but it's like, oh, like, if there's an argument, oh, it's because you're white, it's because you're black, Mexican, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, they bring race into it and they try to, like, divide us. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we don't focus on trying to help this country out, help each other out. Like, there's just no love anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything, everyone's so focused on themselves, which is good in a way, but sometimes it does get in the way. You know what I'm saying? Do you think... <clears throat> do you think... This is a question for both of you guys. Do you think being selfish gets you farther than being... um being nice in this world right now like i'm talking about business money like if you're i'm not saying like whether you have a religion is whether you have a religion or not i'm not saying it's good or bad but like for me being a good person Mm -hmm. it's like gonna help you out in the long run right Mm -hmm. is being selfish gonna get you farther than being nice like in order to get money i thought it, it gets you there quicker you know what I'm saying? Like, it gets you where you want to be quicker. Like, there's some, like... Jay would know way more than me. But I'm saying... I'm saying if you have... If you have somebody that is trying to support a family, but you got to forget about all that and push them out of the way. Like, uh, like big bank... Big bank takes little bank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got to move them out of the way in order to grow. Like, does being selfish help you make more money right now? I think so. Yeah. I can, I can see that. Yeah. Probably make I, a lot of enemies. That. Probably won't feel good at the end of the day, but it's like that barber, right? Yeah. You charge fifty fifty dollar haircuts. You don't have that money. I'm f- I'm not cutting your hair. But like, just get out get out seeing, my way. You're holding just, me down. Just seeing that. Yeah. I hate that so much. Like, yeah. like really? Like you're gonna tell people you you can't cut their hair because they don't want to pay this amount of money? Like, I'm not gonna pay fifty dollars for for a haircut ever. Uh huh. I'll pay like top twenty five. Yeah, but fifty dollars, like, I mean, 
I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to hate or nothing, but, like, being that type of selfish where you're telling, like, people that want to give you money for a haircut, like, don't come over here because mm-hmm. I'm not going to cut your hair for this amount of money. Like, that's terrible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, I feel like if we're asking the question, what do you hate? I feel like selfish people. Yeah. There's a lot of selfish people. Dude, there's a, there's a lot of division. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, and, like... I don't know about you guys, but, like, my, my goal for this channel is to, like, impact the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like God put us on this earth to spread love and positivity. Yeah. And, like, we, we, we've talked about this before. If we make one person's day from our video, we've done our job. For real. If you, if you laugh at any of this, yeah. like, that's the plus. That's first. all we need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and if you've been here since day one, we appreciate the heck out of you. <clears throat> yeah. Or even if you don't laugh, even if you go, oh, that is so yeah, awkward. You, like, yeah. If we just we make your day, one person out of however many people watch the video, we have done our job. Like we 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 truly want to impact the world and change people's lives and and yeah. just kind of spread joy in a way. I know that sounds corny, but it's true. Like it's not trying to be famous, not trying to make money. Yeah, if like yeah, money's a plus, but yes, sir. Yeah, if you're really rocking with us, drop a like, drop a comment mm-hmm. on this podcast. I want to see. We all want to see who's like rocking, rocking. Yeah. All right. And, like, it's not to, like, get out there. I just want to see yeah. who's watching and who's, like, who wants to rock with us. All right? Mm-hmm. But um, uh, do you guys want to go to the next question or just... How much, how much time we got? I have, I have one more. It's kind of related to us okay. question-wise. And I'm going to add a little bit to the question as well. Mm-hmm. This will be the last one. Thank you guys for sticking around. Yeah. What should they comment, BJ? What should they comment at this point? <laughs> um, How about voice crack? There is that is. okay? That's absolutely fine. Voice absolutely crack fine. or just comment? Fine. <laughs> Voice crack in the comments and drop a like. All right? It happens to everybody, guys. If yeah. it happens, it happens. Suck it up and push through it. <laughs> All right, let's hear it, JD. Okay. So this question says, who is your favorite musician and why? Man. But I'm also going to add, who is your favorite musician slash and or who inspires you to do music? All right. I'm going to start off with Colmer. Logic. Yeah, I mean, Logic was it. Logic is my number one. I made a video about him. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Um, Logic, dude, peace, love, and positivity. That's his motto, and I follow that 100%. Um, yeah, probably Logic. Or, you know what, dude, YBN Corday. I've been rocking with him. BJ showed me him, and I'm very thankful he did, dude. Like, he's old, nice. he's... New school kid, but he gets that old school vibe, and he, he respects hip hop. What do they um, say? A uh, young, young kid in an old man's body, or something mm-hmm. like that. Something like that, yeah. It's just and like that. So yeah, Logic and YBN, mm. Corday, are my number two, one and two, right there. Me, um, Chunky B. Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> I will always like respect and like love the fact of the craft of rap. So like, to start, Biggie. He's like number one, cause I just, just big guy, knew how to knew how to spit like, on anything. Uh, pause, but <laughs> he just knew he knew, how, he knew how to he knew how to do his thing. Um, right now, uh, us making music, I really like just a vibe, a melody, and you're never gonna forget about it. Yeah. So it's like I want when you're listening to our music, I want like, just like head bumping and just you'll never you'll never forget um the sound of it you know mm-hmm. like you're it's gonna be ringing through your head that's what i mean so um i have a right now who i like a lot is 24k golden mm-hmm. and um man who else oh my gosh ice jj fish ice jj fish <laughs> um yeah we'll just say that 24k golden go check him out he's really nice city our, of our angels song is actually based like a type beat of yeah, his, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah jd um music guy though dude i'm not a music I'm guy i'm surprised when i hear yeah music i music think music. so i am too i can already hear people scoffing and getting on me for this the guy inspired me to do music the musician it's gonna sound really white that's bo burnham oh yeah bo burnham bo burnham stand up Stand up in your chair. Yeah, comedian I showed you who, like, sings, too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dude, he is, like... He's talented. He is super deep. Like, every... Yeah. <laughs> there it is. What's crap? Every song I've heard of his, I've, I would like to think I've heard them all, 
every line there's something behind it or there's a pun or there's a joke or there's some sort of metaphor every single line it makes you think it makes you laugh it makes you cry sorry guys quick edit yeah. the camera malfunction so we're up and running again yeah we're back what were we talking about bo burnham uh, erb and then it says bo burnham watches youtube videos that are yeah. not like a bunch of views so yeah thank you bo yeah. appreciate it so that's where pj take it take us away right now um <clears throat> If you guys watch to the end, of course, comment down voice crack. Uh, we appreciate everybody who watches. You know, keep subscribing, keep showing us some, some love. Like, keep making a spread. It's going to help out the channel a lot, help us out, have more quality videos. Um, if you love the podcast, keep dropping likes. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching for this love, much. Spread peace, love, and positivity. Yes, sir. Uh, anything before we go? Anything to uh, tell them that they should expect for video wise? We got football video? videos coming soon. Don't forget. Yeah. Try music. To ask, yeah, try to come in our league. Pause. Um, <laughs> music videos, music uh, skits—they're all coming. We got everything planned out. So, yeah, I mean, keep watching it. Keep loving. Yes, sir. Hot pockets. Shout us out. We'll see you later. See you later. <laughs>